All right, we're back. It's beer season. Look at that. Beer season. So I'm gonna finish off with that third Russian River beer that that I got. Um, I'm excited. They're two for two. Delicious. Um, can't wait to see what this is all about. This is also another fancy one that's got a cork in it instead of a regular crown cap. So, uh, Scylla, why don't you introduce me so we can get down to it? Ladies and gentlemen, Brian the Beer Snob. All right, here it is, Russian River Brewing. This one is called a Janemi, or Janemi Saison, my first Saison. Uh, my, my repertoire is expanding in, immensely. All right, been wanting to try a Saison, finally got one. Here it is. This is a farmhouse ale with Brett, and I'm like, what is Brett? So here I am, I'm on their website. Well, Brett is a shortened term for Bretonomyces, which is a, uh, it's a kind of yeast that, um, Bretonomyces literally means British fungus, okay, and that's because, I don't know, back in the day there was a, there was a yeast that was spoiling some British ales, and this is apparently what did it, so why are they putting it in beer now? Hmm, I don't know, but who cares about all that? Let's find out what it tastes like. Look at this. It's another one. It's got this uh, cork on it. Let me get a glass. And I know from the last beer, well, it says it wants it poured in a glass like this. And I know also it did say to uh, pour it gently so that the uh, yeast sediment that sinks down to the bottom stays in the, in, the, uh, in the bottle. But guess what? It's not how we do things here. Yeah, like the other one, a lot of smoke on the opening. This one is much lighter. Of course, that other one was uh, barrel aged for nine to fifteen months in Pinot Noir barrels. This one is not. This is a very pale yellow. And it says here, Genemy Saison Farmhouse Ale with Brett. This duo of beers, Robert and Janami is an homage to our dear friends Floris's parents who have hosted us many times at their home in Antwerp, Belgium. Janami is a Saison brewed using both American and European hops and malts and hops and a distinctive strain of farmhouse yeast. Primary fermentation took place in one of our unique open top fermenters which are perfectly designed for brewing yeast forward styles like Saison. This beer has characteristics of white pepper and fruit. Hmm. I did know some weirdos who like put black pepper on cantaloupe in my life. I never understood that. There's people out there who put salt on watermelon. I don't. I don't know why. Um, watermelon is sweet and delicious. Why you'd want to turn it into a salty thing? I don't know. But to each his own. We're all different. Yeah. Janami is also bottle conditioned with bretonomyces, adding notes of baking spice and jasmine. Well, I've had jasmine rice. That's pretty good. I tell you, this head on this thing is very, very light. I mean, it's white, but I can, I can see into it. It's weird. Look how pale that is. Mm. It's light on the aroma. Let's see what kind of alcohol we're talking here. This is 12.68 fluid ounces with 6.5% alcohol. Brewed on May 6th of 2020. And like the other bottle, this has got a, a huge, like I said, I'm not, if you were drinking out of the bottle, it would feel different against your lips because it has such a, a big rim on that bottle, but you know, all 
beer connoisseur is going to get it out of the bottle so you can see what you're drinking. Look at that. That is, that is an unusual head. It's very light. Big bubbles. Got mountain peaks up here. This almost looks like the suds, like in the kitchen sink if you were washing dishes. And you got the soap in there. and That's what this looks like. I'm sure that's not what it's going to taste like, but let's find out. Cheers. And taste that jasmine. It's slightly sour. It's it's not not very sour at all. It's um, very mild. This has an interesting like the aroma that's coming up the back of my throat and hanging out on my tongue. It's definitely very jasminey. This to me almost tastes like a. I mean, it's got it's got beer. I mean, I can tell there's beer in there, but it's odd because I think it's such a a light. Um, it's such a light ale that the other flavors that are in there are very pronounced. So. It's almost like it's, those flavors are definitely overtaking the beer flavor. But in this case, that's not a bad thing. This is, a, this is an unusual flavor. This is not a flavor I've ever had in a beer before. Such a classy bloke. Hey, and when it's beer season, they're all in season. Drink whatever you got. My first Saison. Woohoo! Amazing. I don't know how much this cost. My nephew got this for me. He lived in California, one of like the four states in the country that I guess Russian River is available. Um, this, you could definitely drink many of these, but like I say, I don't know how much it cost. These are um, fancier styles, you know, with this cork and this unique shaped bottle here. I don't know, maybe you wouldn't want to drink uh, three or four of these because it might be too expensive, but it's definitely delicious. And if you can find it, buy it. At least get one so you can taste it and say that you had it. It's a unique beer. It's a delicious beer. And it's going to get a thumbs up from me. Ah, do we got any left? We got a little bit. Look at that. This one didn't mention anything about any yeast being keeping it down the little bit of sediment in there. Not not too much. I kinda clouded it up a little bit, so there probably is a little yeast down there that uh, sunk to the bottom, but yeast is good. It's delicious. Yeah. Janami Saison, farmhouse ale with Brett from Russian River Brewing Company, Santa Rosa and Windsor, California, USA. Go pick it up if you can find it. If you live in one of the four states, it's available and you can get it. Send some to your friends that don't live in those states. They need to try this too. It's delicious. It's awesome. It's got a cork. Sweet. Spread the love. Share it with everybody. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you next time. Till then. Ooh, do I got a foam mustache?